Halloween season on Phantom officially kicks off. We've got the green light here for meme coins to start popping off on Phantom. Price action here on Phantom native token up close to 4%. What is it that we've just had? We've had Andre Cronier chime in on the meme coin debate. Yes, one of the greatest minds in the crypto space weighing in on meme coins and opening up a safer community on meme coin process for Phantom. I'm going to share with you the meme coins I'm looking at on Phantom. We've had the Ethereum meme coins. We've seen the excitement with Solana meme coins. And could this be the gateway for many people to start using Phantom and its ecosystem? Loads to get in and know a lot more. Smash up the likes. If you want to buy some of these coins, you'll see that some of these are listed on Mexi. Link is in the description. One of the best exchanges, which I personally use. Really love that exchange. Link's in description. Definitely check it out. Let's kick off with this because Andre Cronier posted this a few hours ago and it really kicked off an incredible narrative. Now, I'd seen the narrative bubbling over the last kind of couple of weeks slash months of phantom native meme coins and it's really important that we were seeing this because one of the things we would complain about as a phantom ecosystem is that there was no community right there was no community there was no fun there was no kind of marketing elements and the community have taken that into their own hands and the foundation have done a fantastic job of trying to nurture that and this is a great example of that so there have already been a couple of meme coins spinning up in the phantom ecosystem which i'll come into but now Andre Cronia said that he's come out and he says, why don't you reach out to me? Anyone wishing to launch a community on meme coin for their idea can contact me directly on Telegram or Twitter, provide the idea, graphics, name, ticket and concept. Uh, and then he will basically, you know, front it up. He's going to help, right? Because he knows that these are the risks. And what he wants to do is create a safer environment for communities and investors. Very interesting. The token will have no minting or ownership capabilities, etc., etc. The above mitigates or at least suppresses the identified risks. Very smart from Andre Crony, and it kicks off a powerful narrative around phantom meme coins. Now, this sounds really, really interestingly and kind of it sounds like contrary to human kind of thought processes but this is how it works a lot of the people who use solana may have started just from a meme coin i know from personal experiences talking to friends etc a lot of people first interacted with things like pancake swap they interacted with uh different you know using binance smart chain all because they really wanted to get a meme coin and this is something you're now gonna see when people really want to get into one of these phantom meme coins they go okay Okay, how do I get that? Oh, you need to use something like Equalizer. Then they go look into Equalizer. Oh, you need to set up your wallet. They go and then look into setting up their wallet. And so this can act like a really interesting gateway for people to experience Phantom to use the blockchain to see how fast it is and how cheap it is compared to the meme coins they're buying on Ethereum, let's say, to see the reliability. And ultimately, then when you enter the deeper realms of the bull market, they've got everything set up. If they then wanted to yield farm or use some DeFi or use some other projects on Phantom, they can. So it's an all, all win for the community as long as you can manage risk. And you guys know, how do I manage risk with meme coins? I've never sat there and been that person that says, don't touch meme coins. There's a lot of people out there that do that, right? They're like, don't touch meme coins. You're silly if you trade meme coins. No, I think if you do it within a structured manner, you've got your portfolio, you've got some Bitcoin, you've got some Ethereum, you've got all the other projects you like, and you take a sliver of that and you say in a calculated way, I'm going to pick some meme coins, which I back and have a mini meme coin portfolio. There's nothing wrong with that. The people who get wrecked go and put their whole life savings in a single meme coin not understanding the risks they get rug pulled on and then it's a problem right and that's this is always a problem with any meme coin team sells their tokens early investors sell large amounts liquidity gets removed token has access controls right always 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 the same issues with meme coins that get you wrecked and all the meme coins i'll cover off here today will post some of those risks as well so let's get straight into it let's kick off with the first one that probably comes to some people's mind is f sonic phantom sonic you know, again, coming off the back of the Doge, right? It's like probably one of the most obvious kind of memes to kind of try to set up is to set up something in the Doge, Floki, the Inu world. And that was Phantom's effort here in terms of this. Now, again, up 10% here today, sitting at $1,000. But again, you don't worry about this, right? It doesn't really matter that it's $1,000. What you need to focus on is your fully diluted valuation and your market cap. So fully diluted here, 2.6 million, very small project. You're still buying in a very, very low market 
market cap. To put this into context, you've got Dogecoin sitting here at 27.9, call it $28 billion in market cap. You've got Shiba sitting here at $16.6 billion in market cap. So again, not saying that you're going to get to these sizes on any of these meme coins I'm sharing, but I'm just trying to give you guys perspective that once a meme coin pops off, there's a reason people want to put money in meme coins because they can do crazy returns. You can take a project which is doing $2 million here and it can 1,000x to $2 billion and still not be anywhere close to Shiba or a Dogecoin in terms of size. So crazy potential in all of these meme coins. But of course, you've got to do it in a structured way. The way I vi envisage uh, meme coins is your boom or bust, right? It's, a, it's the most risky trade you can take, right? When you're in, in your Bitcoin, you're in Ethereum, it's not super risky. Whereas with a meme coin, it's boom or bust. There's no point, like if you're going to put some money into a meme coin, there's no point worrying that it, oh, it's fallen 10, 15, 20, 30 percent. I mean, Bitcoin can fall 10 percent in the next couple of days. It's very possible. So what do you expect from your tiny little meme coin, right? It's boom or bust. You're either going to get the crazy outsized return you want or you're going to lose all your money. And so one of the mistakes some people make is they invest in a meme coin. It goes up 10, 15 percent and they sell it. And if you keep doing that with your meme coins, guess what? It's not going to work out. The risk management will not work out in your favor because one meme coin that doesn't work in your favor, you could lose 80%, which will undo your last six wins. It doesn't work like that, guys. So when you're investing in meme coins, it's boom or bust, right? You want If you're going for that 100x, you need to stay in the game for that 100x, for that 1000x or whatever it is you were targeting, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. So definitely one for you guys to check out. Go and do your research, have a look into it. You can jump onto their website and take a look at the project. Now, of course, why are we seeing a lot of the word Sonic. If you guys haven't seen my interview with Michael Kong, make sure you go watch that. Sonic is going to be the next big thing. It's the big pivot from Phantom, right? It's going to be there, as they call it, their shared sequencer. Make sure you go watch the interview to understand what it means, but you're going to see a lot of memes around Sonic, the word Sonic. So keep an eye on that. Next project I want to share with you very quickly here is Sonic Goat. Go check this out. This is from the chap on Twitter, uh, the Goat, uh, who's one of the biggest Phantom holders slash node operators. I've seen this kind of spun up again i hold none of these tokens at the time of recording this video but i've seen one of this uh, i've seen him kind of spread the message around his token on twitter and it's building some traction so go check that out 27.5 million fully diluted so a little bit more well it is quite significantly more expensive here than the one i just showed you so again take these with a pinch of salt right because you may be sitting there going oh look one thousand dollars here and then you're looking at this and say 0.8 but you've got to look at this right this is one of the tricks we learned from um shiba inu and doge they kept the number really really small what did shiba do no point no 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 and then lots of meme coins took that philosophy to print quadrillions of tokens just to make the number seem so tiny that people go oh that looks cheap because sometimes when it's a thousand dollars people are like oh that's expensive it's got no that you know that's got nothing to do with it this price is a misnomer you need to focus on the market cap very important so go check it out there's a website here for uh esco as well but you can go check it out the good thing with esco is it's already listed on some exchanges you can buy on mexi again link is in the description to mexi if you guys want to trade on mexi and bitmart so where some of these others i'll come onto it shortly for example if you wanted fan f sonic you click on markets and you'll see it's available on equalizer or solidly again two of the dexes on phantom so this is going to be a reason that people start to use these dexes okay so if you wanted to buy this you need to click into here you need to have your metamask configured for phantom right you or one of these wallets again you can go on over to coin market cap they do a good breakdown of all the wallets that work with phantom from f wallet trust wallet metamask etc get yourself set up go over to something like equalizer and you can uh, go ahead and buy the meme coin. If you guys want a separate video showing you exactly how to use these DEXs to buy the meme coin, let me know in the comments below. And if enough of you thumbs up one of those comments, uh, I can go ahead and show you uh, a step-by-step, click-by-click, how you go and buy some of these meme coins. Because I, I reckon a lot of people are going to want to do this and they won't know how to. So again, little things like that, like I showed you with ESCO. ESCO is already on an exchange. That's going to bring more volumes to people buying it already, okay? So these are the little things that really matter when you're looking at a meme coin you want to look at you know what is the story behind it what's the narrative is it fun does it have a good name this is not you investing in a layer one solution very important you're investing in a token that's really good at engaging community and a lot of that is not going to be found through technical analysis or fundamental analysis no you've got to be able to read the hype 
cycle. You've got to be on X and Twitter and through these different communities, understand what's going on. Listen to, to, to the social vibe. Are people talking about it? Are they excited about it? Are they doing really, really well? You need to listen to that. And when you sense that, that's when you want to be looking for your entries or otherwise. So again, it needs to be memeable, right? Why are they called meme coins? Because they need to be memeable. It needs to be something that people enjoy, they want to talk about. And this kind of goats area here has so far uh, really kicked off nice and positive as well. One more I do want to share with you guys is uh, a bonus, which I'm going to find for you right now. It's this one, Sonic X. Sonic X, you can also check this one out as well. And there are a few others. There's an Andre one. There's a, a THC. Go and check it out. It's risky. It's a minefield. You've got to be careful with meme coins. If you guys haven't experienced meme coins before, start off with a very, very small amount. And again, don't let it be the vast majority of your portfolio. We're talking a sliver of your portfolio that you can allocate to meme coins. If you're just going the other way, you're asking for trouble. But exciting times here for Phantom. Meme coin narrative is popping off, and that is allowing the base token to experience some positive rallies as well. I mean, you look at the last four days here on Phantom, 6%, another 2.7%, 7%, and today opening up another 3.5%. If I compare that to Bitcoin, four days of outperformance here versus Bitcoin. Okay, so real big strength here against Bitcoin. You can see Bitcoin was trying to uh, break out from structure just getting rejected a little bit here today, uh, but Phantom managing to stay green on the day nonetheless. I think it could be a really important narrative, guys. Do not underestimate the power of meme coins. Meme coins capture people's imagination. They go and they look at how can they buy this meme coin. They figure out, oh, look, it's not on an exchange. How do I get access to it? I need to get Phantom. Where do I get Phantom from? They go buy Phantom. They then look at how to set up their wallet. They set up their MetaMask. They then go experience something like Spirit Swap or Equalizer. And before you know it, they're playing around. They're trading. They're experiencing the low transaction fees on Phantom. They're experiencing the liquidity. And before you know it, They'll be doing that in DeFi. They'll be using other projects. They'll try a gaming project on Phantom. They may try a metaverse project on Phantom. They may go over and buy some NFTs on Phantom. This is how it started for every other blockchain. So kudos to Phantom. I mean, I can make an update video every single day here on Phantom because they're just delivering on so many things when it matters, right? Not to mention the fact that the USDC E, the canonical stablecoin on Phantom has been launched. If you've not caught up on that video, I'm going to link it up here. Go watch that. Complete game changer that now Phantom has endorsed a single canonical stablecoin that people can reliably use knowing that there'll be liquidity there right projects can use it people can use it and it's it's upgradable to the native one once it's ready go watch this video here a lot of exciting things going on the vc investors coming on board the meme coin season andre cronye locked in and excited the sonic upgrade away the fact they said that something even more exciting is coming than sonic in the summer as well Phantom are really taking this bull market so far by the scruff of the neck. That's no uh, kind of goat pun intended. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.